नमस्कार यू वॉचिंग सोल कनेक्शन एंड अवेकनिंग विद ब्रह्मा कुमारी वेलकम सिस्टर थैंक यू ओम शांति ओम शांति इन द लास्ट फ्यू एपिसोड वी बिन स्पीकिंग अबाउट रिलेशनशिप सोल कनेक्शन एंड इट वॉज वेरी नाइस टू नो दैट द मीनिंग ऑफ अटैचमेंट अर्लियर आई यूज टू थिंक दैट डिटैचमेंट मीन्स दैट फीलिंग लेस और cold cold withdrawn disinterested mm-hmm. when we are body conscious we have attachment yeah. and we are, when we are soul conscious we are detached and when we are detached we can work very very well there's a reason for that also while you were saying it i just thought of it because when you are soul conscious you have a different perspective about everything mm mm-hmm. you are first of all detached from your own body detached from the body doesn't mean you're out of the body but you have an understanding that you're not the body mm. i'm a soul now this one understanding changes everything when i remember i am a soul not the body mm. then when i look at the child my child i will understand not my child but another soul with a now, smaller body smaller or even if the child has grown up mm-hmm. what happens is we are in spirituality also teaches us to shift our perspective from being a possessor mm-hmm. to being a trustee okay you know always our vocabulary is my child mm-hmm. my business my bungalow my property everything is mine 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 which gives me a thought i possess Mm-hmm. all these people and all these things and wherever there is possession there will always be a fear oh, of losing it of losing it and spirituality teaches us i am a soul using this body mm-hmm. playing this role mm-hmm. with all these other souls who are also actors mm-hmm. i've come here to use this and then i will leave nothing goes with me nothing and no one belongs to me mm. i use everything and i take care of everything like a trustee mm. you know see the difference between a trustee and an owner would a trustee take care of things or no sure he will but what would be the difference between a trustee taking care of property and a possessor or a owner taking care of that property he take care much better he take care much better it. yeah Huh. I said this somebody else's property I don't want to make a mistake. Hmm. I don't mind making a mistake with my own property. Hmm. So well usually when somebody says take care of this I'll care take care of my car and I'll uh, come back after a If month. If somebody leaves their children with you for 2 days we'll be rather more conscious there. Yeah. But they're not your children they're someone else's children hmm. and yet we will take a lot of care. And yet at the same time there won't be any stress. Hmm. It's not mine. Oh there won't be any doubt fear. fear of losing them yes. because they've got, we've got to give them back when they come yes exactly they've come for holidays absolutely so if i understand that i'm a soul i'm a trustee then i also understand that i'm a guest here i am hmm. a guest here in this role and everything that i have is with me for a certain period of time to use and then to leave See imagine when we go for a holiday mm. and you take a hotel room mm. and you're staying there you want everything good mm. everything should be perfect yet at the same time the consciousness is very clear that i am a guest guest acceptance level is much easier mm. and we remember okay now here tomorrow leaving okay. no stress at all whatever we get it's gratitude for that Yeah, I got this also. I got this. This is not there. Never mind. Tomorrow I have to go. Mm. It is a big shift in consciousness, and spirituality teaches us: be a trustee in your family. In your own family. In your own family. And my own family doesn't belong to me. They don't actually. I'm just taking care of them. That's what we thought. The children, we control them because we said this is my child. Mm. Belongs to me. I am here today on a journey. that soul is also on a journey yes. and tomorrow we both have to shift mm. if i could just live the entire span from taking this costume to leaving this costume as a trustee 
Mm. Then that's detachment. You mean to say this costume, the body? Yes. And I'm a, I'm a trustee of this body also? I am trustee, no? I'm getting to use it. Oh. That's a nice one. I'm getting I to am. use this body. I'm getting to be with all these people. But I'm a guest here. Uh. I don't own anything. Nothing is mine. Because tomorrow, mm. I have to leave everything. My Guru's Guru uh, wrote a beautiful poem. And one of those lines uh, was, Everything is for me. Nothing is mine. We learn a very beautiful thing at the Brahma Kumaris. Two words. Mm. I mm. and mine. Mine. Me or Mira. So be taught, check in the whole day, what is I and what all is mine. What is I and what all is mine. Yeah. And very important to remember that when I'm saying mine, what all is there to use and what all will go with me. But uh, when I think uh, I means only the soul. Absolutely. And <laughs> nothing else is coming. Nothing else belongs to me. Yeah. And yet we can spend our entire life creating fear, anger, only because of this one thought, mine, 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 and should be in my control because it's all mine. And yet at the same time, fear, what if it... Please, if I lose that. If, just shifting this consciousness to being a trustee in family. If I am a trustee of this body, I will be not having a fear of death. I will not because I anyways know that I'm not the body. So still you want to live? Yes, you want you to. You want to live in this body because yes. the other souls you are in love with, yes. they are also having bodies which you are in love with. Yes, absolutely. And yet, we can spend our entire time in this body fearing death. So while we are living, how are we living? In fear. In fear. Fear is the predominant emotion in everyone's mind today. Fear of losing property, fear of losing people, and then fear of losing the body. Fear of losing power as we discussed the so other day. So much fear. And Position, if there is fear, see. if there is fear, you said, I want to be in this body so that I have loving relationships with all the souls. But if I'm in fear, then how would my relationships be? And yet when I remember I'm a soul using this body, I'm, and I have this body, I'm going to use it and when it's time to leave, I have to leave anyways by wanting, I will not be able to stop it. But if I know that I don't die, mm. I just change the costume, the entire period while I'm using the body, I don't live in fear of death and Maybe. fear of losing people. I don't lose anyone because I don't own anyone. Okay. It's very important. You lose only when you own. Yeah. A trustee doesn't lose anything because it was not his. Mm -hmm. While it's there, he'll take very good care. And yet he never has fear of losing what he's taking care of. Just like a bank manager, he's giving you Perfect. money yeah. which belongs to you and he's a trustee at that time. Yeah. And he does when he gives you, you your money, right. he's not fear, fear, he doesn't have and any problem. Anyways, while he's working in the bank, he doesn't have fear of all that cash that's lying inside. Yeah, it's not his. It's not his. It's and yet, he takes such good care of it. Yeah. So we can take better care if we are a trustee rather than an owner because it will be care without fear. Mm. Care without possessiveness and care just in the true respect of only taking care. Mm. So that care will be with stability. People think, oh, but if it's trusty, that means they won't take care. Mm. This has to be experimented with. This is detachment. Because usually people have an old, as old belief, we talk about uh, wrong belief, old belief, whatever you say. They always say, only if this property belonged to him, mm. he would have known, yes. he would have taken better care. Not at all. And another thing which is very nice to remember while we are learning how to be detached in our relationships, to be able to let go, let go of our way of thinking, mm. let go of our opinion. But isn't this also letting go of our thinking mm. that a certain thing belongs to me? Yeah. This is letting go of that no, thought. But the fact is nothing belongs to me. It is. So finally it's a fact. It is. It so, is. So I so have to let go of this thought. Wrong idea. Yes. And that's why there's so much fear. So. 
it's a myth we create and also are uh, See, creating fear we create a thought this belongs to me and yet at the same time we know that we are going to lose it but because we've created a fear this belongs to me we live our life in fear of losing it but in any case everybody knows that he's going to die everyone knows does anyone and ever remember no they don't remember and once you're going to die what are we going to carry with us our thoughts mind and do we take care of that what we're going to carry no then the one thing which is going to go with me the only thing which is going to go with me and which is going to carry forward in all my costumes i'm not taking care of that so that is only because i'm attached here and i thought this is who i am this relationship this position this body and i forgot who i am so i forgot where i was a trustee and where i am the owner and i'll keep on doing the same mistake in every birth of mine <laughs> yes. and get attached to that temporary abode right. temporary relative Absolutely. temporary body right. and temporary things again create the pain all over again and again take birth again have a new costume Absolutely. and have new relationship because that's why we have to break the cycle somewhere now if we don't break it it can just go on and so saying to ourselves i don't have time for this mm. it's actually cheating ourselves and our relationships time for what you know when somebody tells someone why don't you practice a little meditation daily attend a spiritual session every day or oh, we don't have time mm. that's because i'm saying to myself i don't want to take up the responsibility of changing this pattern this pattern is going to go on and on and on the way it is scared to get out of the comfort zone uh not ready to take responsibility or not ready to face the fact not ready to work on ourselves ready to blame people but not ready to do anything about it ourselves another very beautiful thing that we can do which helps us to remain detached is to be able to let go of our opinion you know very often our ideas are something we are very attached to it becomes i've been seeing on the process of detachment it's easy to detach from people it's even easy to detach from your own body it becomes a little tough Mm-hmm. it's because it's a little deeper stage is when we are attached to our own way of thinking our you own belief say, systems and our ideas you mean to say thinking belief system and ideas are sanskars uh it's my particular it's like suppose i'm having a conversation with you mm. and you have something else to say and i have a different thing to say a different perspective on the same point or it's a different opinion on the same thing that we are discussing mm. we can go on and on discussing in fact it can go on to becoming an argument mm. because both of us are only attached to our own idea it's very deep attachment my way of thinking is right my belief my belief system is right we need to practice this in our relationships because attachment to our own ideas also can create conflict in a relationship on the smallest of things two people will have a different way of thinking and if they're not ready to detach from their right see detachment from my idea doesn't mean that my idea is wrong mm. i'm not going to say every time okay you're right and i'm wrong mm. no then i will be you know not be fair to myself because i cannot keep saying i'm wrong to myself but detachment just means we need to practice this in a conversation where things are not going in the right direction let's just have the power to say to the other person i do not agree with you but i understand that you're absolutely right i do not agree with you but i understand that you're absolutely right yeah you are right your opinion that you're sharing i absolutely understand it when i get into your mind i absolutely understand that you're right in what you're saying but i don't agree with you my mind says something else yes it's possible because just by it is it not possible that's, that's also not agreeing or not understanding no 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 not at all how can you disagree when you understand see it's like uh, if you say one particular thing to me and i have a different opinion on it we go on arguing only because we're trying to convince the other person so we, di- we agree one, to disagree 
yeah, we agree to disagree because otherwise it's a lot of conflict when we're trying to convince the other person because we think the conversation will only end if one party wins. If two people come back to one point, it need not happen like that. It's not necessary. We don't have to always come to a consensus on one point, both have to agree. In fact, most of the times, it's not going to agree. But we'll end up disrespecting each other. So this is respect by saying, okay, I understand what you say, but I have a different idea. Let's say, for example, you say to me, but they did this and they did this. I don't think they should have done like this. Mm -hmm. This should have been the way of they doing the work that they did. According to me, because I can see it from their perspective, I think it was okay what they did. But the moment, the more I say to you, I think it was okay what they did. You're taking his side. And you're going to say, no, you are not understanding what I'm saying. You don't understand. It was wrong. It was. They shouldn't have done this. Mm. But if I also see it from your point of view, from your way of thinking, your sanskar, and I can see that for you, it was not right. Mm. So instead of argument, instead of trying to convince that no, they were right, we have to understand, I absolutely agree with what you're saying. But you know what? They were also right. But you were absolutely right in feeling what you are feeling. They were also right from their part of view. Uh, it's not, you know, the problem is that we don't have to always agree on everything. This is very important in a relationship. Otherwise, there is always this constant battle going on. Mm. Arguments are only because of this reason. Because there is constant, even on the smallest of things, people can argue. Only because one person should agree. And that becomes a stimulant for happiness. Because if you agree to what I'm saying, that means I'm more powerful. And I'm happy because I'm right and you've been proved wrong. This is a discussion. It's okay, sister. Supposing I have to, I feel that my son should go to a boarding school and my wife says no. Hmm. Now, she cannot say that uh, I do not agree, but okay, you are right, send him. Yeah. When she doesn't agree, See. she has a, yeah. this is an important thing. Hmm. It's the question of my child's life. Absolutely. And how will both of them start fighting then? So, okay, what would be the solution? Go on fighting? One says no, one says yes. One says no, one says yes. And now which party should say yes then? Finally, one person will have to say that there's no point arguing about it. I leave the decision to you, but my opinion, hmm. my stand still remains. He should not go. Go ahead and take the decision. You know when you do this, what happens? Mm. The other person becomes a <laughs> yes. little weaker. It's not weaker. It's not he, weaker. He becomes a little detached from his own he idea. He becomes detached from his own idea. Because one person was ready to let go. Mm. When two people are attached, this. energy has to change. Mm. Our Dadiji of the Brahma Kumaris, when they have the meetings, you know, there's a core group and they have meetings, and Dadiji, who's the administrative head, she will listen to everyone. And sometimes she will have an absolutely different, different opinion. But she will not go into that cycle of waste thoughts internally. She will not go into convincing them. She will definitely not get into an argument with anyone. So she will listen to everyone, but her stage will be of stability. She's not trying to prove anyone wrong. She's not creating any wrong thoughts for them. Why aren't they understanding? Why aren't they listening? This is not how it should be. No, nothing. She's stable. She will listen to everyone. And at the end of it, she will say, but my opinion is that this is how it should be. But finally, I leave you all to take the decision. This is a leadership quality. Not to resist, not to reject. But accept, give your opinion. accept, but not to give in also. Not to give in. Confident. So give your opinion with the right energy is important. Mm. When you accept the other person and let go of your position, 
the other person is also ready to let go and then two detached people will study the same situation. That yeah. makes all the difference. That's nice because uh, we've been discussing about a father and child, parents and teacher and student and all these so many relationships. I think what you said, it uh, works in every relationship now. Actually, in any situation, if there is one person who is detached, hmm. they will find the right solution for that situation. Attachment doesn't give right decisions. It's like, we call it the detached view. You know, it's like if you're in the scene of an accident. You know, sometimes there's a sudden accident and there are a few people there. And if you try and ask them, whose fault was it? Hmm. They wouldn't know because they are in the scene of the accident. But if someone is Outside. slightly like this, you know, you call it the bird's eye view. Just look mm. at the situation like this. You'll be able to see it completely. Like what you said, the decision of sending to the boarding school. If you're here, you're attached. You can only see your point of view. But if you're detached, you'll be able to see your point of view, your wife's point of view, your child's point of view his future, lot of things, the emotional effect on the child if he goes to a boarding school, is he ready, so many things to take care of rather than only saying, but I think he going to the boarding school is right. Mm. There was this couple who came to meet us and their daughter was into a relationship with a boy of another caste mm. and she was very, very keen on that relationship but the parents wouldn't agree and when they came to talk to us, and I said, at least just meet the boy. You know, the daughter was really going into a depression now after three years. And yet at the same time, the daughter said that I will not do anything against my parents' wishes. So she was very clear about that. So as the parents were sitting, they just went on saying, but we know that this is right. We know this is good for her. I said, just meet the boy once, meet him and then tell her. That, you know, this is what you feel. We don't even need to meet. We know this is right for her. They cannot see that the girl is going into a depression. Mm. They cannot see that the girl is feeling rejected. That my parents do not even respect my choice enough to meet once. They can't see it. They can only see their idea of being right and saying, we know what is right for our child. And finally, they just walked out saying, we don't think you should interfere. We know what's right for the child. Today, it's been two years more and she's not married yet. And her state of mind is really getting worse. And it's not that they have to agree to what she's saying. That's not the point. But there's a way you meet the person, understand, respect your daughter, respect her opinion, share. But you can't do all this when you're so attached to your idea of being right. You right. just won't move from there. To your idea and to your child. At such times, it's very, very important, otherwise, to take the advice or to get into the picture one person who's absolutely detached from the situation. That person who's detached will be able to show you a detached perspective. You know, even if you can't see a detached perspective, get someone to show you the detached perspective you'll be able to understand that it's right. But the detached perspective gives the right solution. Let's have a short uh, meditation on detachment. Sure. Sit back and look at all those relationships and situations where the mind is entangled. Still looking for answers unable to take decisions. Differences of opinion, conflicting energy. Let me just step back from this scene. Detached from my idea of right. Ready to let go. Ready to understand. A 
as an audience, seeing the role of every actor and their opinions and ideas. And as I let go of my idea, I'm able to see theirs in another perspective. As I let go, I give up my ego and attachment. I'm able to understand them. no rejection and no resistance. Understanding and compassion. Giving my suggestion but open to the ideas of everyone around me.